Man, it's absolutely crazy. There is so many dogmatic vegan parents out there, or soon to be vegan parents, that force their child to eat a malnourishing, deteriorating diet, which is the vegan diet, which is really, really extreme and dangerous for them to actually be doing this with their child. Because with a child, they are in their developing years. They are growing in every way, shape and form over a long period of time. So you want to make sure you are giving them an abundance of all of the building blocks to actually have the best development possible. And so their mind functions optimally and so they feel the best and so they are the healthiest possible which sets them up for the rest of their life because when you put them on a diet that actually gives them everything they need, they are gonna be the healthiest that they could possibly be later in life when they become a teenager and then an adult. So it is absolutely essential that you make sure that they get every single different essential fatty acid, amino acid, vitamin and mineral and other nutrients that they need to get everything that I've just mentioned. But guess what? On a vegan diet, it's going to be very hard to get an abundance of essential fatty acids such as EPA and DHA. Yes, you can get to the plant form known as ALA, but the conversion rate is 2 to 10%, so it's very, very low. But when you eat things such as fish, it's in the form of EPA and DHA, so it doesn't need to be converted, so they are getting it in the best form possible that is readily available for their body to absorb. And obviously you can get it from a lot of other sources as well. But if you're eating a strict vegan diet, good luck with getting your child to actually get enough EPA and DHA through their diet. So that's one reason why they'd be better on an animal-based diet. And then there's things such as vitamin K2, which you can find a lot of this in ghee and butter. But guess what on a vegan diet is almost non existent. Yes, you can get it from things such as natto or other fermented foods, but guess what? Natto tastes like absolute garbage and it depends on the person that's fermented it. Some natto has been shown to have K2 in it, some of it hasn't. So there is no real reliable source, and if you did have a reliable source of natto, well, natto is absolutely disgusting. I've tried it before, so yeah, trying to get a child to eat is going to be pretty much impossible. And then there is cholesterol. Cholesterol is a precursor for all other hormones to be produced within the body, as you can see in this chart. And yes, your body does produce its own cholesterol, but when you are on a vegan diet, especially a long term, your body's own production of cholesterol will get lower and lower and lower. So then what happens is it messes up your hormone production because your body hasn't got enough cholesterol to actually produce all the other hormones within the body. And that is why dietary cholesterol is actually a good thing, unlike what a lot of people are led to believe. And if you actually want to learn the truth about cholesterol, I put a link to a book down below that was done by a couple of doctors that have exposed the truth with cholesterol, and they're actually proven that it doesn't actually cause people issues with their health whatsoever. It's just a myth that has been spread by the pharmaceutical industry so they can sell statins left, right and center, which is the biggest selling pharmaceutical in the world. So they obviously stand to make so much money from this and all they care about is maximizing profits. They don't care about people's health. They actually wanna keep people sick as long as they possibly can, because that's where they can make the most money. You have vitamin A, and vegans are gonna say, well, you can get that on a vegan diet in abundance, eat things like sweet potato and carrots. Well, that is beta carotene. It's not the pre-formed vitamin A. So it is not an actual, real, good source of vitamin A whatsoever. You can do your research up to find more information about this online, but if you eat things such as liver, or other animal-based foods, it's in the preformed vitamin A form. So it is readily available for you to absorb as soon as you are eating it. 
rather than getting this really bad source of beta carotene that is not actually real vitamin A whatsoever. And there is just so many other essential fatty acids and also fat soluble vitamins that are lacking on a vegan diet. And guess what? Our brain is made up of so much fat and so many other parts of our bodies. So when you're in the developing years, you will want your children, for example, to be getting enough of the fatty acid nutrients that I've just mentioned so they can actually develop in the healthiest way possible. And guess what? I've seen it so many times with people online and around me that have had their children on a vegan diet and they look like some of the most underdeveloped children and the unhealthiest, weak, malnourished children that I've ever seen. Yet when I see children like the other day when I was on the beach, there's loads of children running around that are definitely not on a vegan diet and their hair looks amazing. They look so vibrant, they look so alive, they are glowing. But when you compare them to vegan children, man, they look like absolute garbage, the vegan children. They do not look healthy in any way, shape or form. But as we know, so many of the parents that have their children on this type of diet, they are just so dogmatic and idealistic with their religious views on a vegan diet. And they tend to be very blind where they don't see what they're actually doing to their child and that is destroying them with their crazy ideas around eating a vegan plant-based diet and getting the child to eat it. And it's just, oh, it's so sad to see because children need the best start in life. And so many of these parents think they're doing the best by getting their children to eat a vegan diet, but actually they're not whatsoever. And I'm telling you, when I have children, I would definitely get them to eat loads of animal foods. I'd never get them to be on a vegan diet. It is very dangerous to do so. And then there's the issues with phytate acids, which are found within nuts, seeds, grains, beans, and legumes. And guess what this anti-nutrient does? It binds to all minerals contained within the foods that have phytates. So guess what? When you cook it and eat it, no, it doesn't get rid of it. So when you eat it, the phytates bind to all those minerals throughout your whole digestive system and they just go straight down the toilet. But vegan doctors and scientists will say, oh, you can get all of the minerals that you need on a vegan diet. Just eat things such as pumpkin seeds to get all the zinc you need. Well, guess what? You're not going to get the zinc from it unless you've soaked and sprouted it, which most people do not you're not gonna absorb it whatsoever. And this is why so many vegans become deficient in zinc, selenium, iodine, and many other different minerals. And it's gonna mess up your whole cognitive function and developing as well when you're a child. It's also just gonna affect their bone density in a negative way and their bone formation. And it's just not good whatsoever. Ever. So if someone tells you you can get all the minerals you need on a vegan diet, just eat that food and that food and that food, well, the likelihood of you actually absorbing it and utilize it, it is very, very low due to the reason that I just explained. So you could maybe, like a lot of these vegans say that are crazy, well, you just need to eat more food. Well, yeah, go and eat more rice, go and eat more seeds, go and eat more beans and that. And guess what? It's gonna make it so it affects the absorption of nutrients of all other foods in a negative way even more so. So you're really inhibiting the absorption of so many different nutrients from other foods that don't even have phytates within them. So it's just a recipe for malnutrition and just pff, messing up your child so, so badly. And then there's many other things that are in animal-based foods such as collagen, which are key for having the best hair, health and development, the best skin possible, and for everything within your body to be as healthy as possible as well. So yeah, I could just go on and list off thing after thing after thing after thing after thing that is lacking on a plant-based vegan diet. It doesn't matter if you're eating the highest quality organic plant foods, that are really, really fresh and not got any pesticides on whatsoever is still gonna make you run into issues due to the reasons that I've explained. And yes, you could just get your child to take this supplement and that supplement and this and that and that, which can end up costing so much money, but guess what? It's better to just eat some animal-based foods that have the nutrients in that are lacking on a vegan diet that your child's gonna need to be the healthiest child possible and develop the best that they can develop. And guess what? 
When you're actually eating animal foods that have things in such as vitamin K2, it comes with a broad spectrum of many other different things that a supplement will never give you. So stop trying to put a Band-Aid on a bad diet and start eating a variety of whole foods, not just plant-based animal ones as well. Eat high quality, grass-fed, preferably grass-finished beef, it would be amazing for your child to eat that lamb as well. These are the two best meats because they have the best omega-3 to 6 ratio. It's best to try and minimize things such as bacon and poultry because the omega-3 to 6 ratio, even when it's from a high quality source, is not that good. Get them to eat an abundance of fish and seafood. Add things such as ghee and beef tallow and even get things such as a raw grass-fed milk or raw butter and so many other high quality animal foods. Don't be buying those at factory farm foods because when you're buying those, the animals are sick and then you're eating sick animals, you're getting those toxic things that are added to it such as antibiotics and synthetic hormones and it's just not good for people whatsoever in any way, shape, or form, whether you're a child or not, but it's even more important to give your child the highest quality animal foods possible because they're in their developing years. They are more fragile and vulnerable than adults. And when you buy it from these sources, they are gonna be the most nutrient-dense animal foods that you could possibly ever give your child. So yeah, I hope some vegans can listen to what I have shared with you in this video. And if you know anyone that's got their children on a vegan diet, or they're gonna have children in the future, please send them this video, because maybe it will awaken them to something that they haven't heard before. And maybe they will make the choice to stop feeding their child a vegan diet, or if they're gonna have a child, that they will never get them to eat a vegan diet in the first place. So leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to like the video and share and subscribe. And then make sure that you make the most of your day, eat the healthiest foods, and have the best day ever. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.